Hi sir. Hello, how are you, Bache? Good sir, how are you? I am fine, dear. Thank you so much for asking. So, as you know that uh, the revision series has been started. So, this is our first class of the physics revision. Okay. So, we'll be having two class of physics in a week for the revisions. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so, so first chapter that we'll be doing uh, as the in the revision in the revision classes will be light chapter. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Just wait for two minutes uh, so that uh, the remaining students can also join. Hello, Samina. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, dear? I'm fine, sir. What about you? I'm fine, dear. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, so let's uh, start the class. Okay, so I think that uh, most of the students have joined. Okay, so let's start the class without any delay. Okay, so first of all, this chapter is basically uh, that currently we are doing is the light chapter at the first chapter okay so first <clears throat> yeah so let's understand i let me check how hello abdullah assalamu alaikum are you there bache how are you i'm fine so thank you what about you alhamdulillah i'm fine as well so revision classes start away so uh, one more thing everybody uh is that uh from the next class onwards, you are requested to revise the concepts of this chapter, okay? So that uh, because a revision is going on, so we'll be doing very crisp theory and some numer and the PYQs. So that's why it's requested to basically to uh, revise the concepts from your notes, okay? 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so let's start the class. Basically, this chapter is basically based on the two phenomena that is reflection and refraction. Refraction. So reflection is, let's understand what is reflection. I'm just uh, basically, I'll be making some short points on the, on the reflection. First is reflection. Reflection is the bouncing Bouncing back of light from a polished surface into the same medium. Yes or no, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. into the same media. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> so reflection has two types of uh, two laws. Basically, for uh, so first law is uh, the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of, angle of reflection. reflection. Very good. The angle of is equal to angle of reflect uh, basically reflection second law is the incident, incident ray very good the same plane. incident ray reflected ray and normal All lie in the same plane. Okay. So these are the okay, all lie in the same plane. So these are the two laws of the uh, reflection. Okay. And uh, one more thing is that uh, two types of reflections are there. One is regular reflection that we'll be studying and one is irregular or diffused reflection. Okay. So let me tell you how you will uh, basically how does it look look like. So suppose this is the incident ray. This is the reflected ray. And this is the normal that is perpendicular. So basically the ang this angle, angle I, and this angle that is angle R are equal to each other. So this is this reflection in which now uh, you can see this thing, you can predict, suppose that one more incident ray is there, which is parallel. Which is parallel to this. So you can see this thing. If this is parallel, so the incident ray will be parallel, uh, the reflected ray will be parallel to this one. Yes or no? As you can see, this is called regular reflection in which the uh, the direction of ray, the uh, path of ray can be predicted. And uh, for the, basically the normal for this uh, ray will be this. Just a second. Here everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. I hope it's clear to you. Any doubt regarding this uh, concept? No, sir. No, sure. sir. Very good. 
Okay, let's talk about the another part, uh, case that is irregular reflection. And uh, let me make a diffused, you can say. like this so you can see this thing if you draw if you basically if the ray is incident in and this is the normal and this is the normal so you can see this thing the ray is incidenting on this surface this is not even so the reflected ray is not predicted in which direction it will go okay and suppose if a parallel ray is introduced here so you can see this thing this ray is parallel but the reflected ray will not be suppose it can go like this reflect reflected is this way are these uh, rays parallel to each other No. no. No, no. So it means that these will be. So you can see this thing. So this is not predictable. So that's why. <clears throat> so we will be understand basically dealing with these uh, regular reflection. Okay, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So let's understand. is understand the concept of image the two types of images are there that is the first one is virtual and the second one is real so this is the, one of the most common question Uh, in the school exams of three marker that uh, differentiate between real and virtual image. Okay. So first is real image. And it is virtual image. The real image is basically it can be obtained on a screen. Okay. Real image can be obtained on screen. Okay. Virtual limit cannot be. Okay. Virtual limits can't be obtained on screen. And uh, real image is formed by the actual intersection of two, at least two rays. Okay. Real image. Is formed. By. Actual intersection or meeting. Of two rays. Virtual image
virtual image is formed when we assume that these two rays will be basically meeting at uh, behind the mirror or somewhere else okay formed by extending rays in the backward direction backward direction and assumed to be intersecting assumed to meet okay real image is inverted yeah virtual image is erect Okay, everybody, got it? Yes, sir. Any doubt to anybody, please let me know. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, that's great. So, <clears throat> these are the three basics, uh, basic differences between real image and virtual image. This can be a three marker question that differentiate between real image and virtual image and with some examples. So example will be nothing but simple. The uh, image formed by an eye is a real image. Yes or no? Because a rays a uh, actually meets at the retina. Yes or no? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. So example says uh, formed at right in the next example is you can say uh, you have uh, suppose you have seen this thing a mirror uh, in the convex mirror is basically uh, forms a virtual image clear or you can say uh, image formed by plane mirror is also virtual so this is an example of the virtual image okay Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Image formed in plane mirror. Clear, everybody? So this is a very basic uh, difference. These are the very basic differences between virtual and real image. And this is a very hot topic that can be asked in the school exams and the boards as well. Okay. So B, you, know, you can say, don't skip it while revising. Okay. So next is, so basically now we are done with this topic. So basically now let's understand uh, the type of uh, basically, uh, now let's get in dive into the uh, spherical mirrors. Okay, so basically reflection, uh, we have seen this thing. Uh, so plane mirror. Okay, plane mirror. So plane mirror. We have already seen this thing. So first type, basically two type, two types of mirror are there. First is plane mirror. Types of mirrors. The first one is plane mirror. Second is spherical mirror. And in spherical mirrors, there are more than there are more two types, which is uh, convex and concave. So basically, let's understand the first one that is plane mirror. So plane mirror, so basically plane mirror forms a virtual and erect image. Suppose that this is a plane mirror in front of you and you are standing just a moment. 
Okay, so <clears throat> when this is a plane mirror. Basically, this is the covered side, and you are standing right there in front of a plane mirror. Okay. So basically, plane mirror forms the same height of image at the same distance from the mirror. Okay. Everybody, yes or no? Please let me know is this clear to you or not? Yes, sir. Okay. The image, this, this distance and this distance is same so that is u and that is v okay so so and one more thing how you will uh, show this thing that this ray this path it basically retracts so we need at least two uh, rays to uh, draw the diagram Okay, if we extend this one, so this will straight directly go there and this ray will just directly meet there like this. This is how you the image formation is form, image is formed of this. Yes or no, everybody, please let me know if this is clear or not. This is height of image, sorry, height of object and this is height of image. Clear? Yes, sir. Because yes. this it basically uh, we need two rays. So one ray that is parallel to this uh, basically your surface and another ray is basically make uh, following the law of reflection. If the angle incident is I, so it will be reflected by our angle and both the angles will be same. So that's why if you extend this point in the backward direction, so these are the assumed to be meet. You are just assuming that they are going to meet in the backward behind the mirror. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. So first part is that is basically so understanding the plane mirror characteristics is basically a plane mirror. Forms. Virtual and. Erect image. Second point is. Plane mirror forms image of same size of the object. Yes or no? Have you seen that you are uh, standing right behind, right in front of the mirror, and your uh, like uh, hands <clears throat> hands are looking very longer and bigger? Is it possible? No, sir. Ah, same size of the object clear next is magnification of plane mirror is one what is basically magnification? Magnification is the ratio of V by U and there is a negative sign in the mirrors. Uh, just a second. It's negative in the uh, uh, negative with the mirror. Mirrors may negative with the actually just a little bit. Minus of V by U. Okay. Yes or no, everybody, please let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. yeah. <clears throat> and uh, one more thing is that basically, chalo, main bhi bata abhi. So, is ki jo magnification of the plane mirror ki over one hoti hai. Why? Let me tell you the uh, aapko main pe sign convention. Bata deta hu. Let me tell you sign convention. Uh, isko, chalo, so 
basically it new basically this is new sign of convention this is the direction of light everybody please note it down in your notebooks as well the thing that i am uh, drawing this is a very important okay direction of light is in the rightward direction so it will be considered as positive okay yes or no okay yes. and this is the basically the pole of any uh, mirror this is focus this is center of curvature okay and the direction basically the distance measure distance is measured from pole in uh, in either of the direction if you are going in the leftward direction you will be starting from the pole towards this side if suppose that this is origin if you are standing at the origin you will go start from the origin whether you are going in the left or in the right direction yes or no yes, at least yeah. yes or no so if the yeah so you see uh, just as you see this thing that uh, the light direction is in the rightward direction but you are going in the opposite direction of light so it means that this will be considered as negative yes or no yes sir. yes sir any doubt to anybody please let me know okay. next uh, and if you go in the rightward direction that is in the direct in the direction of motion in the direction of light it will be positive yes or no Yes, sir. This yes. basically this pole is nothing but it's a kind of origin for the ray diagrams and the, for the uh, you can say the sign convention for the ray optics. Okay. Yes. Okay. And next thing is if you go uh, basically in the upwards direction from the pole, just like this. Suppose that you're st uh, basically you're stand uh, standing right directly. So this will be positive. Okay. And if you go downwards the pole, that will be negative. You can see this thing that this is very similar to the origin concept in the coordinate geometry in the ninth class. Even in the, you can say this, uh, you can say, I think, uh, ninth class, mein da, like, I think coordinate geometry, 10th class, mein jo usme ye concept ye wala nahi hai. But in the ninth class, you have already plotted this thing. So is it clear to you or not? Yes, sir. Any doubt to anybody, please let me know. Be honest with me. Anybody having any doubt? Yes or no? No, sir. Clear? No, sir. Got it? How do you how you will calculate and measure the distances? Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. So this is all about the plane mirror. Okay. So let's understand this spherical mirror concepts. spherical mirror first one is concave mirror that is like this they go just like this a little bit like this the concave mirror is like this the upper, outer part is covered or you can say curve okay and the inner part is not covered this is a concave mirror okay so and uh, this is the you can say uh, one more thing this is called this line is called principal axis principal axis okay so basically for this you can see this thing the intersection point here will be called as this pole yes or no everybody yes sir. this is yes, the sir. focus and this is the center of curvature okay so basically the, the concave mirror has the characteristic that it will be forming a real image except in one case clear and one more thing, it's also called converging mirror. Converging means that it will. Suppose that thing, suppose your object is basically right there. Okay. 
object is basically placed right here. So this ray will go first ray should be parallel to the principal axis. They that basically this is the most common way of uh, basically drawing a ray, ray diagram is that first you at least you need two rays. You need two rays to form a ray uh, to create draw a ray diagram. First ray should be parallel to the principal axis. Okay. At least yes or no. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. So, this is parallel. It means that it will pass through the focus. Yes. Yes. Sir. And the second ray. Pass through the curvature. Pass. Pass through the curvature. Or you can see this thing pass through the pass focus through the and focus. it will get parallel to the circle or it will be parallel. There are so many, uh, you can see possibilities. So you can take any two possibilities. Okay. Just a second. Thoda sa. Actually, my, I'm using a, ray, a rough handedly drawing. So that's why a little bit asymmetry is there. So pardon me for that. So this image will be basically beyond the curvature. Uh, okay, size is already uh, bigger, but it will be beyond a curvature. Actually, basically I'm using raw rough handed diagram. So pardon me for the asymmetry in the diagram. Okay, so you can see this thing. It means converging means you can see this thing. If the ray is going parallel, if it strikes on the concave mirror, it is converging. It basically merging converge means a kind of you can say if two things are going and they are going to meet it means there will be uh, something is basically trying to meet them merge them it will be called as converging okay converging okay got it yes or no yes suppose this yes, thing, these two rays are there and their point and at some point due to some uh, ob object or something it that object will be called as convergent converging object which basically tries to Converge them at a common point. Okay. Yes, yes or no? Yeah. Yes, so yes. that is the, that's why it is called as converging mirror. Okay. So first property of concave mirror is concave mirror is a converging mirror. Okay. Second property, uh, concave mirror focal length is negative. You can see this thing pole is there. So focal length focus is there on this, uh, on this principal axis. You are going from pole to focus. But the direction of motion light is in this direction. You are going against the motion of light. It will be negative. Yes or no, everybody? Yes. yes. Sir. Okay. Concave mirror always form real images. real image except one case. In only one case, it will not uh, produce, it will not form real image. It will form virtual image. Okay. Concave mirror is used in used in torch lights headlight headlamps of automobiles okay etc so the okay everybody please let me know this clear to you or not yes okay okay so opposite to this one is convex mirror Okay. One is convex mirror that is opposite of the concave mirror. The bulgy part is outside. Inner part is covered. 
ठीक है द लाइट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द आउटर सर्फिस एवरीबडी यस सर and this is the principal axis okay and basic and one more thing uh, concave mirror have uh, i think five or six uh, cases i'm uh, it's uh, just a second infinity for beyond curvature curvature and uh, between curvature at focus ha huh, six cases six cases will be there okay but in the convex mirror only two cases are there okay one is at focus and another with that uh, another is at the basically between uh, sorry first one is at the infinity and second one is the between the infinity and the uh, center of well, basically pole of the mirror okay so it is called one more thing uh, it is called diverging mirror basically it diverges the rays it basically spreads out out the rays okay diverging yes or no everybody Let me know. Basically, you will con you will take that uh, point as focus where the rays actually meet. You can see this thing, na? This is a focus. It means that the focal length will be negative. Clear? But if you take this thing, suppose that if you have one, uh, basically you are standing here. Okay. Suppose you are standing here. Okay. And the ray first ray should be parallel, yes or no? Yes, sir. But it will spread it out. Okay, and the another ray it should go from the it it should go strike or you can say for it you should take this ray as the pole ray. You can see this thing now. If you basically extend this line a little bit, okay. Yeah, see this thing that image is forming on the right hand side. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So image is forming on the right hand side. It means that focus will be on the right hand side. Yes. All everybody, please let me know once. Is this clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so basically this is f okay so that's why it is called diverging mirror because it spreads out the lights uh, light rays okay so that's why it's called diverging i i think you you, you must have seen a one uh, basically uh, diverging diversion ahead work is in progress you must have seen this on the roads when the work is going on when the uh the construction work is going on the road diversion ahead it means that it spreads out the road into different subsequent parts okay yes sir so that's why so let's talk about the converge con uh, con uh, basically the convex lens oh sorry convex mirror first ray is convex mirror always form virtual image virtual and erect focal length of convex mirror is positive is positive 
क्लियर एवरीबडी यस ओके वन मोर थिंग and the third part is instead of third part is uh, convex mirror is used in is used in uh, rear view mirror you have seen rear view mirror in the cars side mirrors and uh, street lamps street lamps etc okay okay got it everybody yes or no yes any doubt no sir no sir sure? yes yes okay so that is the uh, basically the characteristics of the convex mirror and concave mirror okay and now let's talk about the mirror formula mirror formula is can anybody tell me what is mirror formula 1 by f equal 1 to 1 by v plus f equal to 1 by okay okay very good very good 1 by u plus 1 by u 1 by v plus 1 by u is equals to One by f. What is v here? U is Image basically distance. yes, very good. What is u here? Object distance. Object distance. What is f here? Focal length. Focal length. So object distance from pole. Always remember it should it is from the pole. Okay. From pole. Okay, got it, everybody. Yes. Yes. Just give me a moment. Let's do some basic uh, PYQs on the basis of the mirror formula. Allow me a moment. Any doubt? Anybody, please let me know. No, sir. Sure. Yes. Sir. Okay, that's great. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this question. It's recent. It's a very recent question. It's asked in CBC two thousand seventeen. Just give me a second. Let me paste it right there. Who is there? Okay, Shaima, please uh, send the doubt on the official number. Omar is here. We'll solve it together. and one more thing is that okay okay dear i got it let me check okay 
So Shaima, basically, dear, this is a ref refraction doubt. In the next class, we'll be doing the refraction. So we'll be uh, taking this doubt. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Because right now uh, we have uh, we are covering the. Uh, we are covering this refra reflection part now. Yeah, so we'll be doing that in the next class. Uh, in the upcoming class, we'll be doing the refraction part. So we'll be covering that thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, I have downloaded the figure. So we'll uh, discuss it in the next class. One more thing is that there is one formula of magnification that is minus of V by U is the, basically magnification uh, gives you the idea how much the, basically uh, what is the ratio of the image and the uh, object, oh, sorry, ratio of the object distance and image distance to give you how much uh, the magnification is. Is it enlarged? Is it diminished? Or is it of the same size? Okay. And the negative sign shows that is it virtual or erect? Clear everybody? Negative signs means real and inverted. Positive signs means basically if the answer is uh, the, so just a second, let me tell you. M is negative. It means that real and Inverted. Take care. M is positive. Virtual and. Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, Please sir. let me know. Take care. And one more thing. The formula is also this. HI by HO. Take care. Let's talk and do this question. So first of all, the question is saying that an object of height say four centimeter. So what will be the, it will be negative or positive height of an object? Positive. 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 Very good. Because it's above the principal axis. At uh, is placed at a distance of 15 centimeter in front of a concave mirror. So be, what will be the U? U will be negative or positive? Negative. 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 Minus 15 of centimeter. Okay, and the focal length of the concave mirror is given that is 10 centimeter. Okay, one more thing. Just remember one thing. Whenever the concave word is used, focal length will always be negative. Whether it is concave lens or mirror. Clear everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. And convex word is used whether it is lens or mirror focal length will be positive. Just remember this thing. If you got confused whenever any, like suppose that you are having some trouble while finding that it is negative or positive, just assume, just remember this thing, whether if, a con, if the concave word is used, it means that focal length will be negative. If the convex word is used, it will be positive. Okay. So it means that minus of 10 centimeter will be the focal length. We have to find out the image distance of the object. And what is the height of the object as well? Okay, so let's find it out. Applying the mirror formula that is 1 by V 1 plus 1 by U is equals to 1 by F. So 1 by F is 1 minus 1 by 10 is equals to minus, oh, oh sorry, uh, mm, uh, sorry, 1 by U, V, hai na? V, nikalna hai 1 by V minus of 1 by 15. Taking 1 by 15 on the right hand side. The most simplest way of doing this is just basically mul cross multiply them. Cross multiply them means 10 will get multiplied with this one, 15 will get multiplied with this one and the denominator will mul get multiplied by each other. 15 into 10, 10 minus 15. Why did I do that? Basically. Uh, I just wanted to uh, basically remove and eliminate without any complex calculation. That's why I've done this. So minus of 5 divided by 15 into 10. If I have taken LCM and all the things, so this will be, that will be a cumbersome process. Instead of that, I have just take, uh, took the cross multiplication part. So just one, it would get divided by 3 times. So 1 by V is equals to minus of 1 by 30. So V is equals to minus of 30 
सेंटीमीटर इट मीन्स दैट वी आर करेक्ट बिकॉज कॉन्वेक्स सॉरी कनकेव मिरर फॉर्म्स द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ द मिरर क्लियर एनी डाउट टू एनी बडी प्लीज लेट मी नो ठीक है लेट्स फाइंड आउट द हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट सो बेसिकली यू कैन सी दिस थिंग मैग्निफिकेशन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वी बाय यू इज इक्वल्स टू एच आई बाय एच ओ सो यू कैन सी दिस थिंग माइनस ऑफ वी इज माइनस ऑफ थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस ऑफ फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल्स टू एच आई इज नॉट गिवेन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर ठीक है so you can see this thing negative will get cancelled this negative but one negative is left so four minus of two times and four get will get multiplied with minus of two so it would be minus of eight centimeter it means that the image is getting enlarged you can see this thing yes. because the object is four centimeter but the op image is eight centimeter negative sign shows that the image is inverted clear everybody please let me know yes sir Any doubt to anybody? Please let me know. No sir. Sure. Yes sir. Okay. So let me take one more question. We have three minutes more. Just allow me a moment. Hello. Check and check. Who is that? Please mute yourself, uh, Manisha. Mm, convex mirror doesn't have so many numericals. I'm just not able to find it down. Just allow me a minute. Well, I don't think so. That uh, so like in the uh, like for the convex mirror, there are very less numericals. So based on the concave mirror, is much more than that. Okay, so in the next class we'll be doing some numericals. Uh, okay. Okay, one question is there, uh, which is objective type question directly, and please let me know the answer. So one or two numericals we'll be doing in the next class, and we'll be doing the uh, the refraction part, and this chapter will be done. Okay. So please let me know uh, which which is the correct answer. option either plane or convex uh who gave the answer please let me know your name uh, sir abir okay dear sir option 1 okay option 1 by whom sir shaima shaima okay dear what about rest of you everybody karishma hiba and uh... Uh, sir option 4 
ओके 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 सो बेसिकली द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज the plane and convex because it's saying that no matter how far you stand from a mirror your image appears erect so i have all i have written this thing right there in the convex mirror always form virtual and erect plane mirror always form virtual and erect along with the plane mirror convex mirror is also a mirror that always form virtual image clear everybody yes yes sir. any doubt to anybody No, because sir. if you say no, only sir. plane if you say only plane this is an insult for the convex convex will say i am also able to form the ima uh, virtual images why are you not including me okay so you have to give respect to both of the mirrors okay that is plane and convex okay everybody yes sir yeah. yes so, sir yeah got it yes sir i hope yes, it's sir. clear to everybody that uh, we have covered so far, like uh, we have covered so far and uh, the reflection part is done only one or two numericals we will be taking in the next class that is left okay and in the next class we will be doing the refraction part so please don't miss the class okay does anybody yes. have any doubt please let me know once no sure no sure, sure. everybody is everybody fine yes sir. with the topic and the concepts that is given in the class yes sir okay chalo so that's all for this class then take care and goodbye and uh, keep practicing and uh, keep revising and is it's your job to revise the uh, refraction part before coming to the class okay in yes. the link revision